Cairn Holy One, near Creetown in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland. Cairn Holy One is the most iconic prehistoric site in the Dumfries and Galloway area of South West Scotland. A second site known as Cairn Holy Two is a 150 metre walk up the farm track. Cairn Holy One is the more elaborate of the two sites. This megalithic construct was carefully located on a sloping hill high above Wigton Bay. The Isle of Man is visible on a clear day. The landscape around the Cairn Holy sites is rich in prehistoric relics, which have endured, sometimes completely intact, from deep antiquity. Our ancient ancestors found this area very important. The site is known as a Clyde Cairn design type found in southwest Scotland. Eight standing stones make up a curved facade which is the main feature. An aerial view of the site is reminiscent of a bird with the upright stones resembling the wings, the body being the inner chambers and the recumbent forecourt stone as the head. Cairn Holy One is considered to be over 5,000 years old. What we see today is a skeleton of what once was. Originally the site extended past the modern wall and car park to 45 metres by 10 metres wide. The material that made up the cairn mass would have been used for building material and field walls. Sparse remnants of this cairn can still be seen. There are two chambers here. The inner compartment was constructed as a closed box. This was lightly covered by a capstone. The outer chamber was accessed through the thin facade. Inside the cairn, two slabs that make up the burial chamber have rock art. The two chambers are orientated roughly east-west, which may suggest a spring and autumn equinox function. This is the day where night and day are of equal balance. This key time of the year was likely very important to our ancient ancestors. Terence Powell and Stuart Piggott, both archaeologists, excavated the site in 1949. A very interesting find was part of a green Jedi ceremonial axe. This was found in the outer chamber. Even more interesting was the axe came from the European Alps. Other finds during the excavation were pitch stone from the Isle of Arran, a stone hole, a leaf-shaped arrowhead, a flint knife, pottery and six fires with hearths. The acidic soil has dissolved nearly all the bone long before the 1949 excavation. The National Museum of Edinburgh holds a rock-carved spiral design from Cairn Holy One. The Cairn Holy Two site is one of the best prehistoric sites in South West Scotland. The site was carefully placed on a rocky knoll in a beautiful landscape above Wigton Bay that is rich in ancient sites from deep antiquity. Cairn Holy Two gets overshadowed by the iconic and elaborate Cairn Holy One, which is a short 150 metre walk down the farm track. Here we have two excellent prehistoric sites from circa five millennia ago, which we can still enjoy visiting in our present day. The vicinity around the Cairn Holy sites has many rock art locations. Cairn Holy Two, on its own, is a must-visit historical site in Dumfries and Galloway. Any dedicated lay hunter, megalithomaniac, or a curious tourist will not want to miss the site. Cairn Holy II, along with Torhouse Stone Circle, claims to be the tomb of the Scottish King Goldus. 
Here we have an excellent Clyde type chambered cairn from the New Stone Age era. This design type is found in South West Scotland. Haley Cairn and Largs is another example. These chambered cairns are also found on Europe's Atlantic coast and in Ireland. The chamber of the site is aligned to the northeast. This may have a summer solstice sunrise function. It is highly likely our ancient ancestors carefully oriented these sites to key solar dates. Cairn Holy One is aligned roughly east-west, which is the spring and autumn equinox orientation. The front portal stone is 3 metres high. The second portal is broken. These megaliths form a narrow entrance passage. You are then confronted with an upright stone that is part of a second inner chamber. This is capped by a large megalithic slab. A closer look at the capstone reveals modern graffiti. Archaeologists Powell and Piggott excavated in 1949. Similar finds were discovered at both the Cairn Holy sites. The antechamber or inner chamber revealed a hearth, a flint knife, shards from five or six beaker pots and a leaf-shaped arrowhead. When Cairn Holy 2's usage came to an end, the entrance was intentionally blocked off. The prehistoric people may have known this era was coming to an end and they symbolically closed the site. The closing stone now lies fallen in a shallow V-shaped forecourt. Perhaps they hoped future generations would admire their beautifully constructed and thought out megalithic sites. While studying and researching these sites, we may find out what the Neolithic people were thinking and what was important to them. Another fascinating site close by is Glenquick and Stone Circle. The Cairn Holy sites are situated between Gatehouse of Fleet and Creetown on the A75 road. They are in the care of Historic Environment Scotland and clearly signposted from the road. Before Caledonia is a historical project which looks at the vast prehistoric sites in Scotland and focuses on the Neolithic and Bronze Age, stone circles, standing stones and rock art. Please consider becoming a Patreon for exclusive benefits while supporting my work, thanks to my current Patreons. Join Before Caledonia on Facebook. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to our ancient ancestors.